Hey everybody, Keith Hilson at the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music here, back with another accessory review here. Uh, one thing we've been talking about a little bit is uh, trombone grip, trombone support options. Uh, we know that for a lot of players, whether we're talking about bass trombonists, uh, tenor trombonists, uh, folks who have got physical ambulance, um, any number of different things going on, there are a number of different ways that we can kind of look at helping to support the instrument. So uh, in a previous video, and you can look for the link below, we talked about the Yamaha hand strap system. Um, again, very popular option. It's fairly in, uh, uninvasive. You can just push, you know, pretty much just put it right on the instrument and you're set to go. So now we're going to go a little bit further on so something you actually have to install in the instrument but still you don't have to worry about it damaging it at all and it's still fairly easy to remove but still giving a lot of nice support options this is the neotech trombone grip um, this has been around for you know quite a few years now and i've known quite a few players who have really liked this um, because unlike the yamaha it does stay installed on the instrument um, but it gives a lot of the similar kind of support. So we can see kind of right on there, and I'll be pulling this out here, you can see how it puts, again, the weight across the back of the hand, uh, again, versus having to rely on our last couple of fingers, really doing the gripping on that, which is problematic for so many people here. So let's go ahead and pop this open so you can see this in action. All right, so we can see here all of the different components that are included with the Neotech trombone grip. Again, the whole idea is that we've got this support system that we're going to end up putting our hand through, um, and this is going to be held onto the uh, hand slide section with one of these three bushings, they're calling them. So these are designed to clamp around the uh, the receiving the the tenon uh, on the hand slide and around the bottom hand of the uh, Braces on the hand slide and because of course we know that there are different designs for those braces on the hand slide They do have three different styles here kind of for the uh, standard you know, straight tubing, uh, one that has a little bit of a gusting system on the bottom end of the uh, hand slide bracing, uh, for example, like what the Con 88Hs do, and uh, for those that have a curved brace, more of the Williams style uh, curved bracing on the bottom. So we've got these, um, and then they include with it as well these um, bushings here that you install on the inside to help it you know, keep it in place so that way it's not plastic against, uh, you know, the lacquer and helps to keep everything cushioned in place so it doesn't shift around at all, as well as installation screws with this. And because it's a little bit involved, they do have a really nice instruction manual here. Uh, one thing that they did include with this, because these are preformed kind of, you know, one set um, pieces here at, for the bushing, um, they do recommend that you uh, immerse these in hot water to get things uh, bent before you go ahead and install them here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, grab one of our sample trombones here and I'm going to get one of these installed on it so you can see this in action. All right, so per the instructions, I just took the bushing here and immersed it in lukewarm water for 60 seconds. Um, and what that did is soften it up really nicely so that this can come around here. I suspect probably before they instructed people to do that because of the uh, relative brittleness of the plastic, I suspect they are probably cracking these uh, thin joints here and causing some issues. So that's going ahead and bending nicely. And the way this is going to work now is that this is going to come right around here like so, and this is going to come right here like so. So locks in there really nicely. Now again, because this is a demo, I'm not putting in the uh, the rubber shims that they have as well. You would take the rubber shims and install them right on either side here. They've got an adhesive on it. And what that's going to do then is that's going to give, again, give you a really nice cushion on there. It's going to keep everything so there's really no movement of the bushing at all. So now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to install the screws here. One on either side, top and bottom just like so. And so on the bottom. There we go, now we've got our bushing installed. Pretty simple and easy. All right, so now that we've got the bushing installed, it's just a matter of clipping the brace itself onto the bushing. And the way that works is that there's a little slot here that fits into a little slot on the bushing. 
So you just go through and you fit that slot in like this and then the back side comes around and just locks right in place around there. So it actually installs really um, easily there. And so then you just fit in like this. So uh, because this is made with Neotech, the, the brace itself is made out of neoprene, which is Neotech product are known for um, and it is really very very adjustable so obviously we can have tightness adjustability here with velcro but there's a lot of adjustability on the exact position and angle of the brace here as well um, so you can go through you can really shift it you know quite a ways up and down you can angle it quite a bit as well to find the exact position so I just did a little bit of playing around with this by and large this is really comfortable um, I did notice that this impacts just a little bit when I'm moving the slide here. So I'd probably go through if I was playing around with this, um, play around a little bit more, see if I can find an angle where I don't have to worry about this impacting like so. And then when you're all done, you just take this and you just slide it right off like that. So, you know, really by and large, again, for a fairly, you know, in uninvasive um, bracing system, I think it does a nice job. Um, for the most part, I don't see this being a lot of issues in most cases, you know, unless you have a really tight um, setup on the top here. But even then, a lot of times I'm trying to think, for example, like Bach uh, standard cases and a few of the others where the slide is fitting into a very form-fitted, um, you know, a shelf. Um, even there, I don't see this being a lot of issue. I guess if you have a concern about it, I would definitely check it out with your horn maybe before buying. But, but for the most part, it is you know, a small enough profile where I don't think that would necessarily be an issue with this. Um, so hopefully it at least gives you a little bit of an idea what this looks like in action. Um, if you have any questions about this, if you have experience with this, or if you're you know, wondering, well, how would it work with this horn, that horn, etc., feel free to leave some comments below. I'd uh, love to give you some feedback myself or from some of the other watchers as well. As always, if you liked this video, think about giving it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already done so, think about subscribing to our channel. And you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. So Thanks for watching, everybody.